you know. Welcome. I know everybody is pretty much concerned about the new tax bill and everything like that that has come into play. Uh, but there's definitely some things that you can do to offset some of that stuff. And, you know, once you start reading for a while, you will learn that the wealth definitely leave breadcrumbs. So you just have to kind of follow that path that some of the wealthy people do. So with some of the things of this new tax bill, and I don't want to go into all of that because I'm not an accountant, not a lawyer or anything like that. <clears throat> but there are some definitely some things that you can do daily that can help you put yourself in a position where you don't have to be as concerned or as worried about that. So as you can see, it's the middle of the morning. I'm here at home in the home office working. I don't have to worry about getting up, busting my butt to hit and not go to a nine to five. And that's not because of I don't do nothing, but earlier in my life, in my 20s and 30s, you know, I worked tirelessly with the family, tirelessly, you know, every day, no weekends, uh, no hanging out. And when I did get a chance to hang out, still had to answer my phone and stuff like that because it was a family business. Um, and I know I definitely talk quite a bit about real estate and everything like that. That is my passion. Uh, but outside of that, there's definitely some things that you can do, you know, that can kind of hedge yourself. Uh, we become, we are creatures of routine and creatures of habit. And this is one of the reasons why uh, my first point, and I got quick seven little points. Uh, one of the things you need to do is kind of recondition yourself. You need to train yourself to do something different, challenge yourself, create a new pattern. Uh, a lot of people, they so used to get up go to work, you know, get a paycheck every week or every other week. So it's dumbing them down from their creativity. So they're not using their mind to explore other apps, options or other, other avenues, you know, to generate wealth. So that's number one is recondition yourself. You have to train yourself to do something different um, each day. One of the things that I'm doing right now to recondition myself is I'm waking up at five o'clock in the morning. So it's been a challenge, you know, for me, I say, okay, I'm gonna set my alarm clock at five o'clock every morning. And theorists say, and psychological patterns suggest that if you do something straight for 21 days, it becomes a habit. So what I've been doing, and I've been testing this myself, is I've set my alarm clock for five o'clock every morning. And then certain days, I don't set my alarm clock just to see if I wake up at five o'clock in the morning. And lo and behold, it is true. I've been waking up at 4.58 basically every morning without an alarm clock. So it just lets you know that you can train your body, train your mind to do something, to do something different. And that's kind of what I've been doing. So either, even when I'm at home, I'm up at five o'clock in the morning. When I go out and I'm away from home, my body automatically wakes me up at five o'clock in the morning. So first thing you need to do is learn to recondition yourself and retrain your mind. Um, number two, point number two, when you get up, if it's five o'clock, if it's seven o'clock, if it's 10 o'clock, if it's at noon, you need to take some time to get quiet. You need to meditate. You need to pray. You need to just get some alone time. There's a lot of different stimuli and influences that come in, you know, constantly. You're bombarded with messages, you know, you know, on your phone. There's pop-ups on your phone. Driving down the street, there's billboards. There's a lot of different messages, but you have to take that time in the morning just to meditate and get quiet and find out what your purpose is for that day. We're so conditioned to think about, okay, well, I need to do this this month. I need to do this next month. I need to plan my retirement. I need to plan my kids going to college. I need to plan this, plan that, plan this, plan that. But in the Bible, it says, thank God for your daily bread. So each day, you know, you need to find out what your purpose is for that one day. So that's that's number two. So number one was recondition yourself, retrain yourself. Number two was meditate, pray, get quiet. Number three, you need to read something positive, motivational every morning. 
every day. We get bombarded, like I said, with negative messages. That's why I don't even listen to the news anymore because everything that's flooded in is negative, 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 negative. So you need to get up. You need to, I've been posting uh, positive YouTube motivational messages in the morning just to try and get you started and get you going. And this is something that I suggest that you do every day. If it's one scripture, if it's one blurb out of a book, I constantly keep reading. If it's one blurb out of a book, if it's something that you, a quote that you found on the internet, read that and let that be your guiding principle for the day. So you have to take hold of that one message and walk away with that one message. Um, number four, frame your day, dude. You got to frame your day. It's, it's amazing to me how people wake up and just go, you know, you just wake up and go. You have no purpose, no idea what you want to get done for the day. No idea how to gauge if you was successful on that day or anything like that. So you have to work on book ending your day. So book ending your day means in the morning, this is what I want to get done. This is what I want to get accomplished. Go through the day. At the end of the day, okay, now I'm going to look and see, you know, how I did throughout this time frame. Did I book in, you know, everything that I started and I plan to do? Did I get it done? You know, that way you can evaluate yourself. So self-awareness, self-evaluation is very, very critical. Um I always have to sprinkle in something to deal with real estate. So uh, let's go back to number one. So number one is recondition yourself. Number two is motivate, uh, meditate, and pray in the morning. Number three is read something positive or motivational daily. Number four is to frame your day, evaluate your day. Number five, and this is for my real estate people, you need to study your market. And I'll say to anybody in any occupation, you need to study your industry. You need to know what some of the industry trends are. Uh, like right now, I, I what I do is I look at each day, you know, to know how many active listings there are. Um, and I evaluate from today compared to last year. Like I know right now, there's 21,164 active listings, you know, in the Phoenix market. Last year, the same time, it was 22,536. You know, so you have to study your market, your industry. You need to know, you know, some of the things as far as real estate, the average days on market, how long a property sits on the market, uh, inventory, how many months of inventory there are in my particular market, especially if you're going to do fix and flips or something like that. You need to know, okay, well, this property is going to sit on the market for three months before it gets sold, possibly, you know, and then... Uh, as a real estate investor, you need to review deals, constantly look at deals, comp properties. That's what I'm about to do uh, shortly here. I have another property up that I'm looking at, working on comping, so you need to comp properties daily. Um, then number six, something that I'm definitely about to get into and about to focus on is exercising. This body is a machine and you have to put the right fuel in the machine. You have to keep the machine maintenance and everything like that. So uh, one is recondition yourself, train yourself to do something out of your daily norm. Number two is meditate in the morning, get up, meditate, focus on what you want to do. Uh, number three is read something positive every day. Um, you have to read. A person that knows how to read and don't read is more illiterate than a person that don't know how to read at all. You know, so uh, read something positive or watch a motivational video. Number four, frame your day, evaluate your day, what I want to get accomplished compared to what I did get accomplished and do a self-assessment. Uh, study your market, study your industry, study your craft, know your craft. Um, then number six, exercise. Then finally, number seven, which is very, very key is just have daily confessionals. You know, one of my confessionals is I am a giver. Another one is that I am not slowful. You know, these things that you speak positivity over yourself, that way you can look back and you can start seeing the fruit of what you've been speaking and what you've been producing. So people don't be discouraged about the tax bill. Don't be discouraged about what's going on in the government. You are the 
creator and the initiator of your own destiny outside of God Almighty, but you have the responsibility on yourself to do what you need to do in order to be successful and live the life that you want to live. So it's Marcus Maloney. I'm signing off. The Equity Real Estate King just coming to you real quick. Just wanted to give you something motivational, something quick. So remember, recondition yourself, train yourself, meditate, pray in the morning, uh, read something positive, watch something positive daily. Four, frame your day. Uh, five, study your market, know your craft. Number six, exercise. Number seven, you know, use daily confessionals, you know, and you won't have to be reliant upon the government or your boss, your work or some, someone like that to produce fruit and create wealth in your life. So it's Marcus signing off. I appreciate the watch. Appreciate the listen. Uh, I'm on YouTube. You can go to equityrealestateblog.com, get free content, free inf information about real estate investing. Um, the information is there, people. Get out there, find it, not only get the information, but apply it. Information without application is completely useless and dead, so apply. Peace.